I bought a bike on Facebook. She came with a box of parts. Now we gotta get it running. She's alive. So today's goal is hour and a quarter ride to Harpswell, and we're gonna catch some stripers. We're gonna go out on the boat with his buddy Brody, Bye. catch a keeper striper, then head back up the coast a little bit further to Friendship and catch some oysters and some clams. You'll have your first oyster. How do you know if they're spoiled? Striper on, boys! Let's go, Zach! <laughs> then we'll cook on the beach. And wow, we are completely out of shoreline. Hopefully we can get out of here by 10 o'clock when the tide goes back out. Get the fire! Let's hit the road. Let's go, let's go. Enough talking, time for some adventure. Join me as I repair this old 77 Harley Davidson Sportster and take it on seven days of Maine catch and cook adventures. Woo. That's Chris, and I'm Zachary Fowler, and you're watching Fowler's Make Me a Mischief. We got our box of parts. We got our Harley. I picked up last year a Sportster. The cases are off. Uh, we got bungee cords holding parts and pieces on. Some pieces are in a box in the trunk. We got to take it to the mechanic, see if he can help us out. And then once he's got it fixed, I will do some stuff to the aesthetics of it. I built a Honda chopper years ago. This used to be like a really ugly bike with a big fender and all this stuff on the front, a windshield, and uh, I chopped it, and it seemed better days. After about six years of riding it, um, I put it aside in 2017, I haven't rode it since, and she needs a lot of work. It's a rigid frame and cafe racer style handlebars. It's a great ride. I've driven it to Vermont tons of times, driven around here hundreds of miles. But uh, now I have my dream bike. So we gotta get her fixed up. We're gonna have an easy rider adventure with Chris Taylor. He's gonna fix up the Honda. And we're gonna do a from the coast of Maine to northern Maine, doing everything that's really cool about Maine between those two areas. Let's take it over to Busted Knuckles. He's uh, Bob. He is a excellent Harley mechanic. I've known him for years. And he's gonna see what we can do to get me on the road. I have to admit, I'm a wee bit nervous. I bought this kind of on a whim last fall, thinking I would do a uh, stud it and do a ice fishing catch and cook and drive it out onto the ice oh, and do like a yeah. burnout and have ice spray up everywhere. I think it's perfect, yeah. And so I bought it for wicked cheap, kind of on a spur of the moment thing. And uh, it's a basket case. It's an older bike, but Bob's a miracle worker. So, uh, we'll see. I guess there's no point in uh, worrying about it till we find out what he says. Good! That's one of Bob's bikes right there. So Bob's an interesting character. He's got yeah, a ton of bikes. I think, that, is that his drag one that that's he his, built years? Yeah. yeah. That's rigid, yeah. 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 That was fast. Uh, yeah. You can work all over stuff on Sharky. All right. There he is. Hey, Bob. How's, How's it going? Doing? Good, good. Nice to good. see you again. It's a little crowded. A little crowded. It's less crowded than it was this winter when I stopped by to ask you to do this. Yeah. Well. There was like standing room. Uh, Squeezing room only. Well, we haven't so, got your bike in yet. Yeah, right? Yeah, right? yeah. How far do you want to ride this thing? Uh, so the, the point is, is to drive it around here some and you know go to streams and go fishing. But I want to drive it from the coast to uh, northern Maine. You know, just move ahead. Uh, I don't like that. 
And I got a small box of your favorite thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's small box of your favorite thing there. Just don't tell me everything's here. because I'm never... not going <laughs> to even bother to tell you. Well, let's get it inside out of the weather. All right. So what do you think? Is it easy to get parts for it? As long as they have them in stock. Yeah. That's the whole thing. A lot of things, you know, depends if they come from China. Yeah, you never know. The yeah. surprise is going to be once we do get it all back together and running is that generator. Yeah. Whether it's still good or not. We'll open it up and see what's going on inside. All right. All right, I'm leaving you in good hands. You'll be good here. And you'll be good for him. Be amongst friends. Be fixed uh, when he tells you to. That's, <laughs> that's what we're doing. That's the game plan. For those of you that haven't guessed it already, my inspiration for this Easy Rider series was the Easy Rider movie from 1967 starring Peter Fonda, Dennis Hopper, and Jack Nicholson. Keep in mind, this is not a family movie, but in my mind as I remembered this movie from, I don't know, watching it 20 years earlier, it was the romantic shots of the motorcycles and the adventure that I wanted to capture in a YouTube series. So if you've seen the movie, you'll know what I'm talking about, and we'll just be replicating that beautiful feeling of adventure and friendship, and not the rest of the stuff that was in the movie. So if you want to feel heartsick and depressed, go ahead and watch the Easy Rider movie. And if you want to feel uplifted, and inspired, keep watching. Okay. We're back over at Busted Knuckles now. It's been a few days and Bob's put all the parts and pieces back together. Let's see if we can get this baby running. He's alive. Uh, now what? Carburetor. I got a carburetor. Drop the ball, clean that all out, make sure that's all good. Yep. And uh, that will look a couple more hours and she should purr. Cool. That tells me everything mechanical is good. Yes. And it's starting and running a little better now. Yeah. So, yep. yep, pulling that carburetor apart and cleaning that all out, and you'll be golden. The Honda Rebel has arrived. Just drove about an hour and 40 minutes from Charleston, Maine, to pick up this little Honda Rebel 250, which to most people, that's a tiny little bike, but it is perfect for what I want to do. Easy. That's pretty good. This thing's gonna be fun. I'm gonna do a little tinkering and try and get it started. We are back over here at Busted Knuckles, and Bob says it's going to be time to fire it up. He's done a bunch of work. It's been a couple of weeks. Let's see, uh, see if she runs. 
Morning, Bob. How we doing? Good. You ready to fire it up? Well, let's hope it fires. Let's hope it fires, all right. Cold body. So good. All right, Bob. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. And your keys. Woohoo! Alright, now we just gotta take her home and get the tail lights, the um, uh, turn signals, stuff like that all figured out, and we'll be able to have some adventuring. So we just got back, and I was gonna put it in the shed because we're going away tomorrow for an adventure, and uh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Noah? Alright. <laughs> No, no. I found this jacket. No one wanted to go for a ride. <laughs> no. He's got his own jacket. Is that a yeah. woman's coat? <laughs> yeah, it's my mother-in-law's. That's hilarious. It's in my car. He was offering for me to wear it, yeah. but I don't even think I can fit my arm in the sleeve. Zach, is that proper riding attire Crocs? Dude, the Crocs, the Santa Cruz Crocs are definitely proper footwear. He wears the steel toe. No, I'm going to have to buy a pair of official Harley... No, I don't know. Crocs? Some Harley Crocs. Harley Crocs. <laughs> You can probably get uh, the little. I can get some Crocs with the Harley pizzazz on them. I would never have thought of that. So we got brake, clutch, push the clutch in, bring it up, gas it up, run, brake. I'm a bit nervous. I, I don't even have a plate on it or anything yet, so I sh probably shouldn't go far. I'm just going to go up the hill and turn around. bike so it takes just the right amount of All right, we got the bikes in the shop and we got some toys that we're gonna outfit our bikes with. And a helmet for Chris. Daytona skull cap. Yeah, that's your helmet. Awesome. And some bars. Um, we picked nice. these out because they're kind of, they're just like the movie. And so he'll have those bars and I'll have the eight hangers. The only thing I don't have is the bigger Springer front end. What do you think? Unwrapped in the video. I think I'm gonna like them a lot better than these little. Yeah, those are the stock bars. So most of the time when people get a bike and if they want to have some fun with it, the first thing they change is like handlebars, second thing is a seat, and then usually like a paint job or something like that later. All my plate holder, turn signals are missing, no turn signals in the front, and this is a year that is, well they, they came with them. So if they came with it stock, then you have to have those on the bike. So I can register as a classic and save on inspection, but 
I do have to put that. So I ordered some stuff on Amazon and new tail light. They're not uh, super expensive stuff that I picked up. New plate bracket and some turn signals. So that'll look nice on the back of the bike. For Chris's bike, the helmet, and I got him some saddlebags so he could be the able to carry the stuff for our adventure. Let's see what these look like. That's not gonna work. That's a little large. That's ridiculous. <laughs> we screwed up. That's okay. Yeah. Don't they kind of look a little? Yeah. I'll send them back. I'll order some overnight. We still got one more, two more days to get ready for this. So that we're gonna do the turn signals on mine, and then I'm gonna do uh, get a seat pad for this, and I need to add a sissy bar. But before we get into the rest of the build and head out on our catch and cook bike adventure for seven days, I want to introduce you to our sponsor for episode one, Fabric. Fabric is a fast and easy way to get life insurance. Ironically enough, we're having a motorcycle adventure and they reached out to me and said they wanted to sponsor a video and I was like, have I got the video for you? We didn't plan it this way, it just kind of worked out. Getting life insurance has always been something I've wanted to do, but it was like in a scary adulting moment that I didn't dare to do. I didn't know who to contact, I didn't know how much to pay, what to expect, how to compare it against other prices. Fabric is a life insurance company designed by parents for parents so that you can leave something for your kids. God forbid something happens to me when I'm going down the road on this bike or on one of my other many adventures getting lost in the Everglades or eaten by sharks in Hawaii. I want to make sure there is something though for my kids when I'm gone. So I'm going to check out Fabric right now get myself some life insurance and I'll tell you how easy it is. Or you could just skip this part, go right to the link in the description below, put your parent pants on and make sure you're leaving something for your kids. And there we go. I got life insurance. I've done my part as a parent. Make sure that there's something for my kids should I not be around at some point. So check out Fabric linked in the description below for significant savings over other providers. They have a lot of great quality policies, like a million dollars worth of coverage for less than a dollar a day. Fabric has a 30 day money back guarantee that you can cancel at any time. They have over 1600 five star reviews on trustpilot.com. So you can feel confident that you're getting a high quality policy that's perfect for your family. And it's fully backed by Vantis Life, one of the most trusted names in life insurance since 1847. That's meetfabric.com slash Fowler. M-E-E-T fabric.com slash F-O-W-L-E-R. Protect your family's financial future with Fabric. Apply today in just 10 minutes at meetfabric.com slash Fowler and let's get on with the ride. Wait, where's Chris? He took his helmet. Why isn't he trying? He is trying to. He's trying to, what is he, hiding? Chris! Where are you? We all want to see it. Come here! Oh my what is going on? I look like, Let me see. I look like the mushroom guy from It doesn't not look Super bad. Mario. Yeah. <laughs> you do not look like the mushroom guy from With Super some Mario. glasses, it might Do you got some sunglasses in here? Maybe that'll help me. Film. Stop filming me. I don't Stop. Think it looks that bad. Stop looking at me. It is a double XL. Why did you get double XL? I think it looks cool. Off the you are all liars. Do you want me to throw a rock at you? It looks a little bit. Ready? Go ahead. All right, right there. Um.
right there. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Oh, five Looks sick. It looks so much better than before. Just the handlebars and the feels good to me. like just getting rid of that yeah, crash bar and the handlebars. Don't feel like an old granny riding. Don't feel like a granny. Yeah. <laughs> granny here. All right, now I got to finish mine up. Ew. That's not the color gas is supposed to be, huh? Well, I'm doing the the welding, the sissy bar that we're making for this. And we're waiting for the tires to get put on. Jonathan's gonna empty that out. And we got some of this purple. And Jonathan's gonna pour some of that in there. And we will hopefully get some of that gross, greasy, varnishy stuff out of the tank. Cause she's been sitting for years before we got her running. Can't weld good, weld a lot. <laughs> well, that first part turned out kind of good, but then the other side, we turned the temperature down, and oh, made a mess of it. I love welding, and it's been years since I've done it, and this is just a little, little stick welder that my folks got me back in high school. And I did all kinds of projects. I welded, actually, my bike here, my old bike, this one I turned into kind of a chopper. It used to have a big plastic fairings on it, all kinds of stuff. But I did this, nice little weld. It's not the most perfect weld, but it was clean and it was safe and it, I've driven it year for years like a rigid framed Honda chopper like that. If I get to do another bigger welding project, I think I'm gonna pick up a new welder. Cause I, I miss welding. Building stuff out of metal is so neat. You know, there's something so permanent to it. And structural wise, you know, especially if you're building it for a bike or a car part and you make it yourself, it's such a cool experience. Oh, that's horrifying. Oh, oh, air welding, things we don't mean to be welding. So now once it got hot, it starts to chew into the side of my rod instead of an even a nice bead, it's ruined the rod a little bit. Let's finish up our weld job get this thing installed. Right there. There we go. Pretty aggressive tires, huh, Chris? Yeah, they're heavy.
bunch of the block. Now down forward. Pull, pull, like, grab it there! And Floyd, really, you left your toe under the I tire. couldn't help it. I didn't know it was underneath. <laughs> At least you were wearing, uh, never mind. At least I was wearing safety first <laughs> shoes. I uh, thought you've been wearing those nice shoes for I'm the last two days. Boots, but. She's good to go, except for I gotta do the light. So I taped those all up. The tires are on. It ended up a little bit more aggressive than I wanted. But the point was, is if we go up a dirt trail, which we plan on, to end up in fishing at some lake, then I'm not spinning out in the mud and I can't get out of there and I look like a <laughs> fool. Um, I just realized that there is no front fender. And uh, so if there's rain, I'm going to be uh, in rough shape. I like how my sissy bar ended up. I think that's pretty cool. I think I got the right angle that matches the front angle. See if it fires back up after we clean the tank and all that. You probably support it. You want me to cut them? Cut the blue wire. Okay. Alright, let's see what that does. Less smoke this time. <laughs> Alright, something's up with that light. Just the red? Oh, uh, yeah. Not too bad, except his handlebars are going. Yeah, my handlebars are a little on the loose side, huh? That's quick adjustability. I was thinking, uh, like, we gotta come home so I can try and adjust some stuff, but, like... Don't forget and the key. smoke's still oh. pouring out of the exhaust thing. Not really. Nope. That so, the, the, bri the wrap itself has got gunk all over it or something's going on. Pretty good. I'm satisfied. If we could just figure out how to get forth for tomorrow. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start to work on the turn signals. Figure out what I did wrong with that tail light. Put it, wired it up backwards or something. Back to work. All right. We are all packed up. You got all your stuff packed up, Chris? Good to go, just gotta suit up and I'm ready to hit the road. Suit up. First, we're gonna say grace. Oh, yeah. And uh, Lord, thank you for this opportunity and Chris coming along and I just bless our filming and our adventure that we might uh, get, uh, get on it, really get on it and have a fun time, catch some keeper stripers and uh, cook some beautiful things and experience Maine the way you designed it. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so now that that's done, I feel a little better. Is there a ritual that bikers do before you hit the road? Is there some sort of ritual? Yeah, it's like this. You go. No, no, that's the bikers are like, what the? That's not it. That's no. Ready to go. All right, let's ride. Let's ride. All right. So today's goal is we're actually heading to where are we going? Harpswell. Harpswell. So we got an hour and a quarter ride to Harpswell. And we're going to catch some stripers. We're going to go out on the boat with his buddy Brody. Yes, catch a keeper striper. Awesome. Let's hit the road. Let's go. Let's go. Enough talking. Time for some adventure.
Yeah, we see some heavy bikers riding out. That dude named Zach Fowler. That's this cool. dude was had a heavy ride, man. <laughs> Be safe, ride safe, man. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not so bad. Actually, the first part was some, seemed rough for the second half after we stopped at the gas station felt smoother. Yeah. I still feel like I'm not getting fourth. I can't seem to get fourth, so it cruises along because there's only four gears. Yeah. But it won't. I can't get that fourth for cruising along at 60. You know, like just you're whining on it. Apparently. It it's not quite whining, but it's it's humming pretty high, and it doesn't. It's not quite as comfortable as when you're doing 45 yeah. and you're just like in third, just like. Yeah. All right. We are down here with Brody, and uh, there's our boat right there. We're going out with them, and uh, I'm gonna grab some tasty sandwiches. The nice thing about uh, these small towns in Maine is when you come to them, you got some great food. This little, uh, what do they call this place? Salt Cod Cafe. Ooh, I bet they got something tasty here. Yeah. What do you recommend? Uh, personally, I'm a big fan of the breakfast sandwiches, but anything with uh, the chicken salad is really good. We've got homemade white, homemade whole wheat, and homemade molasses oat. You know what? I think we'll have two raspberry scones, actually, as well. Two raspberry scones? And I'll right. stop looking. <laughs> stop looking before I find like a million more things I want. <laughs> thank you, guys. Yeah, thank you. Have, have a good day. Going. Those tires are pretty aggressive. Yeah, well, I thought, because if we go up with some trail, you know, and how muddy it is sometimes. Yeah. Just a little puddle, like, might not be able to get up and out of a ditch or something. Yeah. This scone looks so good. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Raspberry scone. So good. Mmm. Chris, I can see you're vibrating with like anxiety over not getting your line in the water yet. He's got this way about him, like when he's excited for fishing, he just like hums at a very low rate until he gets a line in the water. Yeah, we moved three times yesterday. Bye! This bridge is really unique here. We'll plan it. I know, right? Put it out there like a 150 feet. I like that. I might have to switch to that kind of reel for mine. That's nice. I think they're much more convenient. Yeah. You got some there, too? Yeah. Ooh, that's a big old one. Oh, Lord wants to give us fish to catch the fish that we want to catch for dinner. Nice! Can you get that second? off in the boat. Put it neutral. You got the live well? Yeah. Open. Yep, my little grub neck out. Oh, I see what you're saying. I just saw some. You see something right behind the buoy? Yeah, like it was on this you. side at first and then just back side of the buoy too. I could swear they weren't just little wave splashes. They were like popped straight up. Yeah. I think there might be some pogies. Let's 
throw one of these guys on. Jimmy. All right, tying on a fresh sabiki. Turns out I was fishing a sabiki already that uh, was missing a hook. Or two. Or two. We won't go there though. We can say, let's say a hook. And two of them are bent over, and after that last hit I had, I ruined it basically. So now we'll maybe have a better chance with one, two, three, four, five, six. Six of them working hard for us, and I see stuff popping off over there. Let's catch something now. Oh, nice flip. There we go. Finally. Oh, there we go, right into the boat. Okay. Live bait is in. We are fishing. Fish on. I don't know. Oh, good. Get him out there. Come on, fishy, fishy. Catch us a, a striper. Maybe if the fish thinks I'm busy, it'll hit. That's like There we go. I got it? Oh, yeah. Oh, he's popped off. That's definitely not a keeper, right? Not a keeper, but That's, a nice All right. First one of the year. Beautiful striped bass. Beautiful striper. All right, send him back. Here we go. There's a nice one. Ooh. Well, if we can't have striper, we can have some smoked mackerel. Ah, whatever. Mackerel sounds good. Yeah, right? It's a nice good sized good mackerel too. Look at that guy. Like the older they get, the darker they are. The younger ones are so pretty. Well, they're mo so much more effervescent on top, whereas these guys get darker and more camouflaged. All right, toss them in there for now. Fresh. Fresh. The Brody's playing up a fish for us. We're going to have a little mackerel sushi. Let's see if we can. Why do I feel like this is a bad idea? Oh, the meat is black. Because <laughs> it may be. Look at those, though. <laughs> yeah, I like the idea of the lime cucumber. I think it's going to add a little zest yeah, to it. Yeah, the little lime cucumber smart water. I didn't feel seasick all day, but now I'm feeling seasick. <laughs> yeah. All right, here you go, Chris. 
Oh, There's man. yours. Yeah, I can feel that bonelessness. I feel the bonelessness for <laughs> I can sure. feel the bonelessness as I grabbed it. I don't see any worms, but uh, all right, dink it and sink it. Ready? Here we go. Cheers. Cheers. I can't. No. Uh, I'm not eating that. That's not bad. Give me a hit off that. Hey, sorry. <laughs> Nope. Are you gonna do it, John? Yeah. I guess I'd say less flavorful, but it still tastes like sushi in that it's raw fish. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you're out and you can't, well, what about Boone Island? Those guys were stuck out there. If they were able to catch fish, they ended up eating each other instead. Well, I'm not but sure I would eat raw sushi over eating your buddies. I'm good. Just eat it. Just eat it. Well, don't you know that other kids are starving in Japan? So eat it. It, I'm, I'm taking the pass. Brody, clean it up. Brody's go. got it. All right. Mm, mm. <laughs> Nothing goes to waste around here. Oh, dude, look at these kids. Oh. What? That fish. What the? Oh, Pollock. Pollock. Oh, oh, there was a bigger so one that just attacked that one. Uh, oh, I think right? that was Pogey. That was a, a Pollock. That was a Pollock? Yeah. The striper right here. Oh, oh, he's hooked up. Oh. Oh, oh man. <laughs> another oh, on your daughter's lure. Hey, you missed Shout your chance, and now we can flay up another one for you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. It's a sign. I was trying to catch whatever. It's a sign. There's that many fish. Look at him. It's nice. All right, well, only the one striper and a whole lot of bait so we can bait up our lobster traps. I think it's time to head back in before the day gets too late. We'll head over, get some clams, and uh, smoke some of those uh, mackerel. We'll have ourselves some dinner. Chris is gonna be hungry because he didn't partake. So, you know, if you go down the road hungry, it's your fault, Chris, you know? Huh? Yeah, we'll do oysters and clams. This is going to be quite the feast. Even if it wasn't a stripery feast, it's going to be a feast anyways. All right, so we caught a bunch of the mackerel. We caught about 35 of them. We'll put some of those in the lobster traps and uh, we'll be able to see, we'll be able to use some of these as cut bait. Maybe we can catch a striper along the way still. There we go. All right. There we go. You ready, Chris? Yep. Got one more chance at a striper. Thanks, Brody. All right, we gotta get the uh, tools out. We gotta break down. The <laughs> exhaust pipe came right off here, so it's uh, pretty loud right now. We'll have to see if we can't get her back onto there. That's loose. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right, we didn't have to wait 45 minutes. At least it happened when it's cold, Chris says. Always the optimist. What a good trooper, too. Didn't get your fish, but you... We, had, we got a lot of mackerel. That was pretty cool. Tightening down bolts with a... I gotta build a little too better toolkit for this. Farmer's right. Yeah, with like, I could put them up in there. Some sort of a roll with all the 
the socket sizes we do. Is We are here in Friendship. It's been a couple days. We've had some mechanical issues. Wasn't able to get it into third gear, so we decided to make day one kind of a multi-day thing until we're done with it. Had to take it over to Bob, see if we couldn't get that third gear back out. The tail light wasn't working. Now I got that fixed and uh, still having some hard time getting into fourth gear. Turns out there was some welding done in the case so the gears and the things weren't lining up good. So still need some tuning up, but we're here to finish the video with our cooking. We didn't catch the striper, so we'll cook some mackerel. And I took the mackerel, um, the majority of them out to my lobster traps and traded those for lobsters. And we're gonna see if we can't find a couple clams, cook up some delicious lobsters, clams, and maybe do a little bit of striper fishing as we go. I keep seeing stuff pop over there. Let's see what we got going on here. and. Uh, Make a little bit of a camp and a fire, get some cook going on. Too small. There's one right back there. Hey, Mr. Crab. That should do it. One little piece.
just a couple oysters. We kind of missed the tide. It's coming in pretty heavily. If we can get, oh, there's one, two. I'm gonna chuck them out there to live. And at least we found one that Chris is of legal size that Chris could eat. Cause he's never had a raw oyster. Striper on, boys! Striper on! Striper on! That didn't take long. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's freaking go. Second striper of the season. We're not going to talk too early. Let's go, John. Let's go, baby. Yeah That's what we're talking about. We do it, baby, we do it. Get up out of that seaweed, my boy. Oh, let's freaking go, John. My boy, Johnny. Let's freaking go. Dude, okay, we gotta get back to my backpack with this really quick. This might be slot. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, chill. Let's freaking go, John. Can I get a dab, bro? I know your cameraman. Thank you, on the go, bro. We're rolling. I don't know, we gotta run back, though. We gotta go, I'm gonna leave my rod. And I don't care about it, let's go, let's get back. Leave the rod, John, let's go. I gotta measure him. Let's go, Zach! Who's not stepping now, baby? Let's go, I need my, I brought a tape measure with me. Okay, first 21, cast. third cast. Let's go, baby. That's how we do it. Put them back. Okay, let's get them back. 21 inch, main stripe bass, second of the season on the bucktail. Let's freaking go, dude. There we go. Clams are on. Clams are on. I meant to <laughs> meant to put them in after the lobsters were halfway done, so they didn't get overdone. But uh, Chris caught the striper, so I was like, I gotta try it now. I'm gonna like spatchcock the mackerel and batter and fry those up. So that should be good. So we'll have a, quite the feast from our adventure here. Uh, too bad that wasn't bigger, huh? Ah, yeah. That was like so... Seven inches short. Seven inches short. Seven in inches yeah. isn't a lot. Do you need a glove for your... No, uh, I've been using the stick. Works better. Yeah. But, yeah. Oh, we're not even at the tide. They let go. Well, I'm all adrenaline out. I need to take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> Seaweed. Sea turtle. Tasty little clams. Got our one oyster for Chris. Let's see if we can't get it open. I hope it's not a dud. Dud? Yeah. Oh, it doesn't seem like it's a dud. That's good. There she is in all her glory. Look at that beautiful little, <laughs> nice little oyster. I mean, it's your first oyster. I think you. No, should, I'm excited. I think I you should have excited. to go raw. Oh, straight. really? And he's like, <laughs> no, no, no. get that expression. No, the hot sauce, I think. I think you should just go raw. I'd like to enjoy it. Yeah. 
not just disgusting. <laughs> I'm just just a dab. I won't do too much. It just a dab will I do you. I do know the Fowler's Chipotle will make anything good. I don't know if I'm smelling my bait fingers or this smells like bait. <laughs> How do you know if they're spoiled? Oh, that's, that's fresh. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, that's more than a dab, but that's okay. okay. I'm just gonna slurp no, it. No, you get your top. top lip on top and then pull it out of there. Okay, yeah. okay yeah. I kind of see. You ready? I don't know. I just do it. Okay. It should slide right off in your mouth. Cheers. Find some more of those. That's actually not I know. bad. Well, <laughs> we're stuck here. Unfortunately, they're all at low tide. I'll go swimming. Yeah. I mean, like we I could said, dive for them if we had had snorkel and mask. The but. hot sauce makes about anything. Wash down a piece. It's of pretty good bark. though. It's got that salty. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be like way uh, more sea thing going on, right? It's yeah. like It's like very good. Thank yeah. you. Mm -hmm. First ever oyster. People are gonna be like, you so cheated. Like, yeah, I drowned you, it in hot you sauce. You you like totally I cheated. could still taste the oyster, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the hot sauce is good, that's for sure. Cool. And wow, we are completely out of shoreline. Uh-oh. I think we had to move the bikes back. Look. Oh my goodness, the front tires are Our front water. tires are in the salt. Oh, oh. Hopefully our fire doesn't get swamped out. If you recall, I always say fire likes buddies. And so because we have like littlest bit of water at the bottom, all that base of coals and the heat that normally wicks up from the bottom of a fire drawing air in is in danger of losing its momentum. Oh yeah. Lord, thank you for the food. Thank you for the safe adventure so far. Help us to uh, get back out of here at uh, some point tonight safely. And uh, in Jesus' name, amen. And thank you for that striper. Yes, and thank you for our stripers. Good. Not too shabby. Early in the trip. So. Lobster. Here. Woo! <laughs> or you just going to bite right off. Yeah, I'm going to go right off. So I, I spatchcocked it and remove the bone, so it should be all solid. There might be a lot of little pin bones. Did you season it or is it just Cheez-Its? It's just Cheez-Its. All right. Dink. Dink it and sink it. You know what it tastes like to me? Like, like sardines. Mm-hmm. It does have that flavor. Just a really soft, basic, basic fishy flavor with a little bit of a Cheez-It flavor. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, right, wait. Right. Stop eating. What? I put something in your shadow bag. What'd you get? Tzatziki. What? Yeah. Tzatziki? So it's like a, it's like a cucumber sour cream. You usually have it on a, a gyro or something. But I knew we weren't going to have a lot of time, so I, uh, we weren't going to make our own uh, tartar sauce. So this should be boneless, in theory. In theory, it's boneless except yeah. for the tail. Go for it, scoop it. I don't. We're not worried well, about double dipping. It's going to snap off. Is oh, way. I'm just getting right in there. Look at that. Mmm. 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 Very good. Well, that makes it. It's almost like a different kind of tartar sauce. I know. Because it's like a cucumber tartar sauce. I think that's my new favorite thing. Mm -hmm. What was that? That was a striper. 
That was a big fish. That was a big striper just, just like turning in the water. Oh, <laughs> the pogies are just slapping like out there. That eagle's gonna oh, there drop. There he goes. He's going for it. Just looking for the right spot. Come on, bogey. And SD card full. <laughs> it does a triple backflip. Did he grab one? I didn't okay. see it. That was not a freaking bogey. Yeah, it was. Use a maple adobo butter on clams. Yeah, but. Is the thing, so. Yeah. Alright. Mmm. That is good. Very good. Mm. All right, go for it. Mix it in. It marries. No, it. If you don't want to, no, we no, let's still do it. Do let's do it. That. Never I, I don't mind. Okay. Do That's it. really good. All right, maple adobo butter on. Oh. There we go. Big old chunk of claw meat. Mmm. I'd say this is a pretty big win, huh? Delicious. We managed to get. It. Clams, I could have easily, I could have easily just kept going on the clams. I know, right? Makes me wish I had that long lens now. This doesn't get much better than this. We got like a dinner, dinner, with a view. dinner and a show. The pogies are jumping. You see that? Like a back of a seal or something. Like this is Maine at its finest. Merc. I just pray the tide doesn't come too much further and we're right, we're right there time-wise. It should be turning. There we go. Pull them back, get rid of the poop. Mmm. Okay, it's coming out in pieces. I want to dip it in the butter too badly. <laughs> you wanna think it and sink it? All right. Dink it. This is my favorite bite of lobster, the tail. You like, Really? You, you don't prefer like, the tail? You like the claws? This part of the claw, the meaty part. For really? some reason, this part's like chalky. But I, I like the tail. I love the tail. I mean, it is. It's got the slightly chalky flavor to it. It's good, but oh, piece you just of seaweed. lost a piece of tail in your Did I? into the butter. Yeah. No, the other half is right there. No, I mean you didn't. Mm. You didn't lose it at all. Oh. <clears throat> Something swirling right in front of us. Did you see that? I didn't. I know you guys missed it, and the camera missed it because we lost some footage. So when we were out there on the boats, my GoPro that was on the chest and the one that we were using overhead, we never got my hook set, and we lost some driving back footage. All of that was one GoPro card failed completely, and I had the GoPro on my chest, and it probably would have looked far off, but there was like a oh. sturgeon that, remember that? I was like, that, was that awesome. jumped out of the water. It must have been three feet long if it was a an inch and and like it did like a double triple lutz and went back into the water i think it even winked at me once like as it was up there at this peak you oh, know cool. it was like two feet out of the water too well our fire is still going <laughs> if you, took some more mackerel. you want the tail john would love the tail john mm -hmm. tail's all you you gotta pick it on your own though i want to okay. go in on one of those crap claws you need crap just just like show it again and then pull it back to your face and just let's, we'll add some crunching sounds. I can eat it, People but it's, swear by it. I don't care for it. It's so weird. Oh no. I think it's like you a You just main. stick it right into the lens. <laughs> oh my goodness, John. <laughs> One second. It looks so much better shiny like that. You ripping. Can I go for it? It's like a little lollipop. So good. Dang raccoon's gonna tackle me off the motorcycle on the way home. Look at all the crabs. He does have a piece of that too, what I threw. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> the crab, he just stole it from him, that's hilarious. Stole it. Stole it. Oh, there he goes, he's going after the shell. He's like, I'm gonna clam. I'm gonna clean that clam shell out. Oh, there's a little fish over here and everything. You did give him a whole clam. Did I? Yeah. <laughs> He's going to town on it. Like, I'm out of here. I got a clam. I'm, I'm out of here. He's taking it back to the fire pit. Oh, this is nice and warm in here. Our last bit of beach disappearing swiftly. 
I decided, hey, if I'm stuck here, mine will fish, fish around this rock that was over here. The seals out there, like, really getting them riled up. Probably like the world's smallest striper here. I can feel. Oh! That was just a, a just one of our mackerels, and I was just dragging him across the bottom. Oh, he's not as small as I thought, but not. Oh, that's a good size. Oh my goodness! Look at that. Oh my goodness. Is that a keeper? No. Dude, no. get the tape measure. <laughs> that's not 20. That's, 20. that's oh. that's 26. Dude, look at the size of that one. On them. Huh? 26? 26. What a, what a guess. Ah, uh, stretch him. Wait. <laughs> Quick, him. let him eat close. something. Let him eat. 26. That's a ah, what a fish. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Woo! All get, right. On the That's, fish. Here we go. Nice job. There you go. Go ahead back. He didn't think that was a big fish either. I, he didn't seem like he was a big fish because he was swimming. He was, wasn't really fighting that hard. He was just dragging like a pile of weeds. And then when he was here, he turned his head a couple. Man, he was beefy. That was two more inches. So cool. All right. Pretty good first day of adventure even though bike problems meant we had to break it up into multiple days so uh we're getting that figured out episode two i'll have to do a little bit more build stuff and then we'll be out on another day of easy rider uh, adventure well we're stuck out here for a little bit because the tide has come in and uh hopefully we can get out of here by 10 o'clock when the tide goes back out and don't forget to check out our sponsor fabric linked in the description below Get yourself some life insurance made easy by Fabric, trustworthy, and uh, yeah, I mean, I, I liked it because it was just so simple, and uh, I felt safer doing it. It's always been something that was scared me, like I said at the beginning, and we'll see you guys in episode two. Thanks for watching. I'm Zach Fowler. That's Chris Taylor. Check out his channel linked in the description below, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Fowler and Chris, out. See you guys. Do the mainstream adventure wave. So you're not channel. allowed to do that on your my channel. You gotta wow. do, do that on your own channel.